What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about microfibers, the microfibers I use, what I would recommend for you to use uh, in your car detailing business or just for maintaining your own vehicle. Um, and basically the main product that we're going to be talking about here is the Kirkland brand microfiber towel. Uh, why are we talking about those? Price. Price is the main issue here, guys, and those are like the best value that you can find in microfiber towels. So, uh, but we're gonna be going kind of broad spectrum. I'll be talking about different things about microfibers, and then we'll jump into these specifically. But if you're at Costco and you're wondering, should I get these? Yes, go ahead and get them. They work great. Um, there's some benefits and some downfalls to them for sure, but they're gonna get the job done. You'll be able to use them for sure. So get them and then uh, when you get home, come back, visit this video again and check it out some more to find out what the downfalls are. And as always, if you enjoy these types of videos, car detailing, product reviews, how to's, all that kind of good stuff, please consider subscribing. I really appreciate it. Now let's jump into the video. Alrighty guys, so as you can see, I have a few different packs of microfibers here stacked behind me. Um, if you do a simple like Google search or a simple search on Amazon, you're gonna find so many different microfiber towels. It gets a little bit overwhelming, a little bit confusing. There's a bunch of different numbers that they talk about. 70-30 blend, 80-20 blend, uh, 200 GSM, 300 GSM, 400 GSM, all these, all these different numbers. So basically I wanna talk about that really quickly. The, the ratio, the 70-30 or the 80-20 or 75-25, uh, that just kinda of shows how much polyester is in the material. Now typically the lower the amount of polyester in it, so a 70-30 blend is traditionally uh, known to be better than an 80-20 blend. I'll tell you right now from my personal experience, I don't see much of a difference, um, to be perfectly honest with you guys. I will go to a higher blend and a higher plush when I'm removing, doing like a final, uh, if I'm doing a paint correction, I'm doing my final wipe downs and things like that, I'm using that kind of stuff. Most of the other stuff, I don't mind an 80-20 blend and uh, I typically run it about 300 GSM. Now GSM stands for grams per square meter, so it's just the way it, it kind of translates to the density of the towel. So keep that in mind. Sometimes people kind of relate that to the plushness of the towel. If it's a 500 GSM, it's gonna be super plush. But you can find high GSM stuff that's a really small pile as well. So it's really more about the density of the fibers versus how plush it actually is. Now with that said guys, let's go ahead and jump into these Kirkland brand microfibers and talk about them. Now these are, they don't list the GSM on them. I was trying to search online too. They don't list the GSM, but I'm pretty sure it's a 300 GSM. Now for the blend, these are an 80-20 blend. So again, on that's a lower spectrum, but again, personally, I don't see the difference. So just keep that in mind. Value wise of these towels, like I said, you can't find a better value. These things, they just up the price of these. Um, they used to be $15.99 or $16.99. Now they're $17.99, I believe. Um, so you're, you know, 18 bucks basically. It's a 36 pack. So you're coming at, in at like 50 cents a towel, which is, an amazing, amazing price. Let's go ahead and jump into my computer real quick. I'm gonna show you some of the competition um, and some of the more well-known car detailing uh, microfiber brands. Look at the pricing of those, uh, just so you guys can see the difference there. Okay guys, so just a quick search on Amazon really quickly. I just searched the Rad Company because they are a very well-known microfiber manufacturer, microfiber brand in the car detailing industry. And I came up with these right here. So this is a very comparable towel to the ones from Costco. This is an 80-20 blend, 300 GSM, 16 by 16 inch, which is the same spec from the ones from Costco, the, the Kirkland brand. And as you can see, it does have the border on it. So this is a surged edge. And basically what that means is that there's that edge on it. I'm sure you can see, see there. And we'll talk about that more in a minute, but that's not my personal favorite, just because I feel like that can create a little bit of an edge that can be harder than the rest of the towel and could possibly introduce some marring in the paint. Um, so you just want to be careful with that. It's, it's definitely not a complete negative. Um, it's just, I prefer to have an edgeless towel in my personal opinion, but these will still get the job done perfectly. And as you can see guys, this is a, this is a 12 pack for $16 and 17 and 75 cents. So you're paying over a dollar a towel here, considerably over a dollar a towel. Uh, what is that? Almost, almost a buck 50 a towel. Anyways, um, for a very similar towel. Now the Kirkland ones, like I said, come in at 50 cents a towel. So let's go ahead and switch over to another one from the rag company. Uh, let's see here. I pulled up a couple. Okay. So here you go, guys. I have these, uh, a very similar towel like this available on my website. I will link down in the description below for you guys as well. Um, but you can also get this one that's available on Amazon, very similar. Um, and it is a 300 GSM edgeless microfiber towel edgeless. I mean, as you can see there, it's just a laser cut edge, nothing to mar the paint, no, no hard edges on it. Um, so I, I, that's what I prefer, I really, really like that. Now again, 300 GSM, this one is a 70-30 um, 
uh, blend. The ones I have on my site are 80-20, but they are a little bit cheaper. Um, and again, I, those are the ones I use in my personal business and they work great. Um, these are $15.95 for a 10 count. The ones on my site are a 12 count. Um, so just keep that in mind. I will have all this stuff down in the description for you guys so you can check that out. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and move on now to uh, these ones. Now these ones are slightly higher GSM. This is a 365 GSM. Everything else is the same, 70-30 blend, 16 by 16 inch. Uh, as you can see, these retail for $19.95 for a 10 pack, $2 a towel right here. Uh, another option is from Auto Fiber. This is another uh, huge company within the detailing industry for your microfibers. Similar, it doesn't show the GSM on these. Um, I couldn't find it on here. Do, 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 do. Anyways, uh, 70 30 blend though, $22.95 for a 10 pack. So $2.30 uh, a towel here. Uh, and then you can get into, like I spoke about before, a higher GSM towel. Now this is a 500 GSM towel from the Rag Company. You can see it's a super plush towel. This is the type of thing that I would use when I'm removing uh, my final uh, polishes and, and sealants from a paint correction. Um, that's pretty much all that I use these for. I typically don't like that longer pile to it. Personally, I just feel like it kind of grabs and um, I don't like it. The good thing about it is it does absorb more product. So when you're removing um, polishes and glazes and all that kind of good stuff, it does a, a slightly better job just because it absorbs more into those fibers. But as you can see here, guys, a 500 GSM four pack is 20 bucks. So you're paying $5 a towel there. Are they better for certain things? Yeah, absolutely. You should have those in your, in your lineup. However, for the more general work, the things that you're using the most towels for, let's jump back over to those Costco branded Kirkland towels and talk about it a little bit more. Back to these Kirkland towels. There are definitely a couple of negatives. I'm gonna to touch on the negatives first here. Uh, not to sound, neg uh, not to be a negative Nancy, but I just wanna to touch on these items quickly because they are slightly a concern. And number one, depends on how you take out the package, but number one for me, super, super annoying, is they put this, I don't know if it's like a quality control thing, number 31, check these, but they put a sticker on this thing. So right off the bat, guys, you can, you can peel it off. It's a pain in the butt to peel off, but then it leaves some residue there. So for me, that first towel is kind of a throwaway. Um, usually I'll get this off and I'll use one side of it just to, so it's not complete, a complete waste. But man, I hate that they put that on there. I, I'm not a fan. Number two on the negatives is gigantic tag on here guys you definitely don't want to use that while you're cleaning your car right so imagine imagine you're using your microfiber you're good to go and then you flip it to the tag side this tag is just going to scratch your paint so you want to make sure to remove that and here is where another negative comes in is when you remove these things they don't come off great so it's gone but as you can see here let me try and focus in on it for you guys it pulled up the surged edge. Like this one's actually pretty good. Sometimes it completely frays the whole thing. But you, as you can see, there's still some of the tag in there. It's still a little bit of a hard edge, not ideal there. So just keep that in mind. There's a couple, you know, that's definitely something that you want to uh, pay attention to when you're using these towels. Again, for the price guys, there's definitely benefits outweigh the negatives on these things because at 50 cents, you can't beat that. Again, for all your heavy lifting, when you're working on interiors, wheels and tires, engine compartments, uh, they work okay for windows when they're brand new, they will lint a little bit, um, but they get the job done. And as well as paint, I use these all the time on paint. Um, I know a lot of people will say don't do it because of you know, these negatives, but um, I, I work on a ton of really high-end cars, black cars, um, and again, I'm not doing it when I'm using my polishes and things like that, but I will use these on the cars and, and I don't have any issues. Now, the last negative, to these towels is um, consistency. Now, since it's Costco, I believe I, I don't know for sure, but I'm assuming they get these probably from some different manufacturers. So your consistency is gonna be different. I know it, throughout this whole craziness of supply chain, there was a time at my local Costco's um, that these were sold out. It was hard to find them. So whenever I come across these, whenever I go to Costco and I'm gonna be buying towels, I buy a whole case of them. So it's nine packs of it in a, in a case. I buy a whole thing because I use these a lot. So professional detailer, detailing for 16 years, work on tons of high-end cars. I use these, okay? Uh, I, and and uh, I'm not afraid to say it. 
I do use other towels for different things. Um, but again, guys, in a pinch, these things work fantastic for pretty much everything. They do have a longer pile on one side. If I can get this to focus for you guys. So there you go, a longer pile on one side and then a shorter pile on the other. So it's a dual pile, which I like because you can use that for different purposes as well. Use that longer pile when you're removing the polishes on that exterior of the car. Just because with the shorter pile, you, if you put too much pressure into it, you can, you can cause some marring of the paint, some micro scratching. But with that said, don't put a ton of pressure. There's no need to put a ton of pressure into the car. Um, you, you know, I just have a light hand and you're good to go. Again, these things are fantastic use them. I will also put a link in the description for you guys for these where you can buy them on Amazon. They're more expensive on Amazon than they are at Costco. However, they still come in under a dollar a towel, so it's still the best value out there. It's easier. You can just order them. They show up at your house, all that kind of good stuff. So uh, the other <sighs> negative, but not specific to these is, is just that surged edge with the, with the seam on the end. Um, you know, there's, like I said, like I showed you guys on the computer, other companies have that. It's just, I prefer an edgeless towel. All right, so while we were going over those negatives, we definitely hit on some of the positives. Price being amazing. Um, quality is decent, right? I, like I said, the quality consistency can change. Um, and I don't like that, so you wanna inspect them. Sometimes I've got them where I, I get a pack and I'm looking at the towel, I'm like, man, this thing's pretty thin. Like, it, it seemed like a lower GSM than it should have been. Um, but overall, they work great on all, types of situations. Um, they are the proper size. 16 by 16 is absolutely my preferred size because they fold up into a perfect square, right? And they fit your hand. So you can see there, fits your hand well. I'll show you some alternatives, guys. Uh, one is the 12 by 12s or 14 by 14s. You'll find them on Amazon, you'll find them in different places, way cheaper but they're too small for detailing. They're, they're, they're a nightmare to work with. Your hand will like cast a shadow over the whole thing. Um, so there's just not enough surface area there for me. 16 by 16 is definitely my preferred choice. Um, then you'd also get into 16 by 24s. So here's a microfiber towel that came in that Meguiar's uh, uh, car wash kit that I just did a review on. And they give you a 16 by 24. Again, not my favorite here guys, because when you fold it up, you got a hot dog, hot dog bun instead of just a nice square. Um, and I don't like that, it just when I'm working with it, it's just, it's not as nice. I, I just, personal preference, 16 by 16 is the the, my, my personal choice. 16 by 24, I get they're giving you a little bit more material, but it's a headache to, uh, to work with uh, a rectangle versus the square. And um, yeah, it's just, just not my go-to. Now, in addition, guys, I have the three microfiber towel packs that I have available on my site. These are all the same, 300 GSM, 80-20 blend, edgeless microfiber towels, 12 packs. Um, and I absolutely love these things. So these are the ones that I use every day in my personal business. Again, I do use the microfibers from Costco as well uh, for a bunch of bulk stuff. But here is the edgeless microfiber towel that I saw on my site. I love these things. Now, these ones are pretty consistent on both sides, not a huge difference between what one side is versus the other. Again, I use these light handed and they work fantastic for all the paint, paint work, all that kind of good stuff. I love those towels. Um, again, though, the, the ones that I showed you from the rag company, again, linked down in the description, um, are very, very, very similar to these. The one of the main reasons why I love, there's two main reasons why I love edgeless towels. Again, no edge there that could possibly mar the paint. And because it's edgeless, there is no tag on this baby that I have to remove, nothing I have to deal with. Um, so they're ready to go right out of the bag. So we've talked about the edgeless, the surged edge, and then we also have, this is from Chemical Guys, and this is a silk banded edge. I don't know how I feel about these. I get that the, re the reasoning behind it is silk edge, you're not gonna scratch with it, but at the same time, there is a sewn edge in there to put that on. Um, so yeah, I don't know, same, same thing as a surged edge for me. For me, still per, uh, personally, edgeless is the way to go. Okay guys, so these types of towels cover 95% of my business. The only thing I'm not using them for is when I'm doing full blown paint corrections, I'll go with the more premium towel. Uh, and then windows. Windows I use an actually less premium towel. These are also available on my site. 16 by 16, edgeless, 200 GSM. If you look closely, you can see through it. Pretty, I don't know if you can see with the light, but you can kind of see through it. They're a thin towel. Why do I like that? I love it for windows. Again, 16 by 16, so it fits in there nicely. Just enough pile to be able to get my consistent pressure when I'm doing windows so I don't leave any streaks. Fantastic towel. I'll link a, a video that I did 
using these on windows. That's how I do my windows. I just use those and water, no chemicals or anything. And I get a perfect finish every time. So I'll link that down in the description for you guys as well. So that is it guys. Um, I hope that helps you. Like I said, Kirkland brand, I know there's, the, man, if you look at all the car detailing forums and things like that, a lot of people say, no, don't, don't ever use those on your car. They're, they're terrible. They're not terrible. I use them. Um, they get the job done. I've used them on high end cars. they they work great. They're fantastic. Check the quality, make sure it doesn't look too thin. Cause like I said, the consistency can change. Um, if you disagree with me, please comment down below. And let me know. I, I, and I, I'm fully aware guys. I know a lot of people do not like those for cars and I don't know if it's from their personal experience or if it's just from all of the hype that's been around them. So um, if you have a personal experience where they did not perform well for you, please comment in the, in the description below. I know sometimes they can be thin, uh, but again, just check the consistency and you'll be good to go. All right guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like the video, make sure you're subscribed, turn on that notification bell. We'll see you on the next one.